Hi guys, Father Mike and Grizzly. Look at there's the Grizzly puppy giving me a hug. Well, I just wanted to reach out to you because I uh, I actually read today that the Wisconsin Supreme Court uh, just ruled that uh, Governor Tony Evers' stay-at-home order uh, was unconstitutional, and it seems like things should be opening up. Uh, tomorrow, I mean, stores and businesses and, um, you know, the big fight to keep the economy, um, the big fight to keep the, the economy is, is now kind of over. So I don't know how fast things will open up, but it should affect the church. I know there's a, there's a meeting with, uh, the Bishop online tomorrow as well. It should affect that as well. So it looks like things are moving here, guys, and 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 opening up uh, towards the good. That this COVID um, threat is not as bad as people thought. And wow, look, we shut down the whole world because of uh, some people promoting fear. And oh my goodness, you're going to get this. You're going to get that. So it's okay if we bought into that a little bit because it's unprecedented. The the news, the government, the the church, the everybody was saying the same thing. But my brothers and sisters in Christ, fear is not of God at all. Fear is from the evil one. He uses fear to his advantage. He uses fear um, to keep people placated, to keep them um, paralyzed in a sense. So we have to remember that God, in truth, in the light of Christ, who he is, never uses fear in a sense of um, to get what he wants. He uses truth. He uses light. He uses peace. He uses joy. He presents us with those gifts. And then as we come into those gifts, he rewards us uh, with life, with the blessings of life. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, know that w what is happening around you, the state of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Supreme Court just ordered, um, or in a court case, um, has ruled that the Wisconsin governor, Tony Evers, has went too far in his authority to, to extend the stay-at-home stay order past um, April 25th. And he, he uh, basically went another month with it. So that thing has all been lifted. I hear in our town up here that the bars are starting to open up. They did this afternoon as they heard the order. Um, police will not respond to that anymore. Um, businesses will open up. And these people that are calling the police on other people because there's four cars they will not even be listened to anymore. Uh, they will be sent pack and, you know, the, the quote-unquote tattletales who want to keep us locked down. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, there's some freedom coming. Uh, enjoy it. Be smart. Be safe. You know, the big thing that I think that we need to watch is we need to continue to keep our hands cleansed. Don't touch your face. If you can, try to stay away from that. That's why the mask are important. Um, it's not so much because of, of the breathing or the contact, it's because us touching our eyes, our nose, and our mouth. Um, and that's how we can transfer uh, sickness, even the flu or any kind of bacterial infection or infection, any type of that can enter into those orifices. So um, be careful. God bless you. I just wanted to do a shout out. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm kind of joyous inside that this thing is starting to be over and it's starting to ramp up. So be safe and remember that God always brings life, joy, peace, and love uh, to you. Not fear. That is not of God, but it's only from one other source and that's Satan himself. So we beat Satan through our love. It's that old song, we, are, we know we are Christians by our love. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God's peace. Sleep with the angels tonight, and let your hearts not be troubled.